Hi there, this is Alex again from Body Fit Physiotherapy and the Growing Younger Team. Now, today we're going to talk about back pain again. You know, sometimes when you get back pain, if you leave it there for a few days, if you do the right things for it, it may actually just go away by itself. But there are times when you just leave it, it could actually be quite detrimental for your health. So in today's video presentation, we're going to discuss what are the signs and symptoms you should be looking out for uh, that may tell you that your back pain is actually quite serious and it may indicate that you may actually have quite a significant uh, medical problem that you need to attend to. So in this presentation, I'm going to cover seven um, symptoms that you should be keeping an eye on. If you have back pain, if you have any of those symptoms, you should really need to go and see your doctor um, or, or physio as soon as you can. Okay, so very important information. Um, enjoy. So when should, should you be more concerned about your back pain? When wait and see approach to back pain could be simply dangerous. You see, back pain is extremely common. Statistics say that about four in five Kiwis will suffer from serious back pain at some point in their lives. Now, the good news is that most lower back pain is short term, which means that it only lasts for from a few days to only a few weeks. It tends to resolve um, basically by itself as long as you do the right things for it. And usually there's no long term um, effect, so it doesn't have any long lasting effects on your health. And usual causes of back pain include sprains and strains, so little day-to-day -day things when you're trying to pick up a heavy piece of furniture and you cause a bit of back pain. Um, sometimes you may get a, a degeneration or wear and tear in your discs in your back. Um, sometimes you may get, uh, particularly uh, for elderly people, um, there's something called spondylolisthesis. So essentially that's a slipping of one vertebra on top of the other vertebra. Um, also traumatic injuries such as car accidents, um, spinal stenosis, which is the, essentially the narrowing of your spinal canal, and uh, different um, skeletal irregularities such as scoliosis, uh, muscle imbalances that can cause um, back pain or back discomfort as well. Now the bad news is that in some cases there are more ominous reasons for your back pain. Um, so we're going to talk about the seven signs you should be looking out for when you have back pain that basically tell you that there's something more serious going on that you probably should be seeing um, a health professional uh, as soon as you can. Okay, so what are these seven signs? So number one, unexplained uh, fever or chills, unexplained weight loss, family history of uh, autoimmune disease, referring pain, tingling, numbness in legs, uh, foot drop, difficulty urinating and incontinence and pain back pain progressively getting worse over time or when the pain is unrelenting constant pain 24 7. so we just go um, step by step one by one so when you have unexplained fever uh, together with your back pain so what this may actually indicate is that there may be some sort of infection going on around your uh, stomach, abdo abdominal area, or your back, um, that could cause your temperature, body temperature to rise. So that is a reason for concern. Uh, therefore, you should be consulting with your doctor in case if that happens. So if you have back pain as well as fever or, you know, or, or feeling, um, you know, or feeling the chills, uh, you should probably investigate this a bit further. Um, now, if you have unexplained weight loss together with your back pain, um, now in some cases, I I'd like to emphasize you shouldn't be panicking about this right away, but in some cases this may indicate that you uh, that, that um, there are some more serious um, things going on, such as cancer. Uh, cancer does tend to cause uh, severe weight loss um, quite often, so um, that's something to be uh, aware of. So basically, if, you, if you're on a diet, if you haven't been eating as much and you lose weight, that's completely normal. But it's if you start to lose weight, but everything else is still the same, that's, that might be a reason for concern. If you have family history of autoimmune disease, um, so one of, the, one of the good examples is rheumatoid arthritis. So if your mom, dad, uh, maybe your siblings, if anyone has um, rheumatoid arthritis, 
and you have persistent back pain, it's probably a good idea to go and see your doctor, your GP, just to investigate, uh, run some tests. Uh, rheumatoid arthritis can cause um, quite bad um, dysfunction and disability, um, and it, it, it's a good idea to pick it up uh, as early as you can. Um, so um, that's another reason why you should be seeing your health professional. Um, now, if you have referring pain, tingling, and numbness, uh, either down one of your legs or um, especially if it's in both of your legs, okay? So that's even more of a reason for concern, um, particularly if you have tingling, numbness, and pain below the knee. So what this may indicate is that you may have a quite a bad uh, disc herniation or disc prolapse uh, because a lot of these disc injuries, they can cause compression of your um, spinal uh, nerve roots that can cause these symptoms in your legs. So if this, um, if you're experiencing this kind of problem, you should be seeing either your physio or your doctor. Uh, now, if you if you notice uh, what, what's called drop foot, so what it basically means is that when you're trying to walk, um, your toes drop and you're not able to pull them up to clear the ground as you're walking. So it will appear that you're your, your toes are pointing downwards. Okay, what this may indicate sometimes is that uh, there's some kind of severe damage either in your leg or in your lower back. And this does need to be investigated uh, further. Another quite a significant um, symptom to be looking out for is uh, if while you're having back pain, you also experience difficulty uh, with your number ones or if you experience incontinence, so if you're not able to hold number twos, okay? So both of these things can uh, sometimes mean that you have what's called coroquina. Now, coroquina is essentially, it's a quite a, a severe compression of your spinal cord. Um, it may sometimes happen as a result of, a, of an injury to your lower back. Um, and other symptoms of coraquina may include numbness around your kind of tailbone and groin groin area. So if you see these symptoms together, um, probably a good idea to um, go and see a doctor as soon as you can. Another symptom to be aware of is, uh, this one is a bit more vague, but basically if you have pain, your lower back pain progressively getting worse over time, um, or if it's a constant pain. So no matter what you do, no matter what position you're in, if the pain is just there constantly and it's it's, it's been there for a few days, um, it's probably a good idea to um, see a health professional instead of just taking pain medication because there may be something more serious um, happening, okay? Now, I do realize you can't attend to every single little um, niggle or, you know, back niggle that you may have, but if you do experience any of these seven um, um, signs and symptoms, uh, it's a good idea to um, go and see a health professional um, the sooner the better, okay? So we've covered the seven signs of um, seven signs of, of things that you should be looking out for if you have back pain. Uh, I hope this will help you um, stay safe. Uh, so what do you do if you have any of these symptoms that I just mentioned? So first of all, don't panic, okay? Um, you know, very a lot of the time you may even experience some of these symptoms and, it, and, and things could still be okay, all right? It doesn't mean that something is, is really bad is happening. But it's worth a check. It's it, it just means that you need to go and instead of just waiting and seeing for the pain to go away by itself, it's probably a good idea to um, see a health professional just to make sure that, that you're on the right track. Now follow the advice and complete the recommended rehab program to minimize the risk of recurrence. Uh, quite often I see people with lower back pain, um, you know, that they had it in the past and it just keeps coming back over and over and over again. And, and a lot of the time is because people don't take the time to rehab their backs um, the way they should. So, you know, you must follow um, a, a rehab, uh, usually core strengthening exercises to help you recover back to 100%. Okay, hopefully you've found this information useful and I will speak to you on the next video.